I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good Wednesday morning, Brahmins. It is August 21st, and it is day two of Underclass Pictures. So if you did not get your pictures yesterday, you will be able to do that today. Also, teachers, today is another warm body count. Um, Mrs. Hurst even sent out some more, you know, clarifying information to make sure that this is 100% accurate. Remember, this is any student that is still on your roster and has been in attendance. Even if they're absent today, you still mark them as being in attendance from either last Monday to this Wednesday. They could have only shown up last Thursday, but we still count them. Um, we have worked to remove students that did not show it up at all last week in that five-day window. That was only like 36 kids. So we're still missing quite a few. So if you'll just take time, make sure that warm body count is 100% accurate. And if you have questions, don't hesitate to reach out. The last thing that I have to talk about is the pep rally. Yay! Everybody's so excited and so surprised because I forgot to include it in the bulletin. That's okay. Next time. But hey, we have our first pep rally because we have our first regular season game this Friday. And I am very excited. Teachers, we will send out um, the floor plan from last year. It has not changed. We are working on throwing in some fun little things in there to hype everybody up and celebrate our fall sports season. That's all I got. Good morning, everyone. If you have asked for a schedule change and you have not checked your email, that is a very important thing to do. Most of the time, your guidance counselor is going to email you if they can move your schedule. And we are at the end of schedule changes. If you need something done, today would be the last day to pick up a paper and request for one because tomorrow is the absolute deadline. So, Make sure that you have communicated. Check your emails. Dig into those. I sent about 48 emails this weekend to sophomores changing schedules and working through that. And I only got four replies. So check your emails, kids. Um, the next thing is testing next week for sophomores. Your teachers are going to be talking to you about the importance of this PM1 test. I know that you guys took it in ninth grade, but it has a different feel to it when you're a sophomore. You have the opportunity to see where you are going to be by the end of this year at the beginning, which is a great advantage because sophomores, you can knock out your graduation requirement at the end of this year, but this first test shows where you're at and what you need to work on to get done with that test and never have to test a reading test again. You're oh, boy, did you hear that? Year. Like, did you hear me? Like, this could be done and over with in May if you really try on this first one. I know I'm sounding ridiculous and annoying, but you'll be annoyed by me your junior and senior year if you don't get it done your sophomore year. Less testing days, more time for you to have electives as well instead of intensive reading when you're a junior and a senior. So just some things to think about. Also, AP students, if you have not gotten your class code from your teachers, <clears throat> make sure to ask for that. Start digging into College Board because, like I said, because of the changes with your emails, you're going to have to start working through those challenges of logging in. If you're still having trouble and your teacher cannot troubleshoot, they'll shoot me an email and we will try to work out how to get that fixed. But again, I gave them the information for College Board numbers. It's a lot, but that's all I got. Hey, good morning, Brahmins. I'm a little tired this morning because 
I had the opportunity to watch the Brahmin volleyball team wipe the floor with Lake Placid last night. Good job, ladies. It was impressive. Um, tonight, they're going at it again against Port St. Lucie, and that is at 5 p.m. So good luck tonight. I'm not there tonight, but I will be there tomorrow. Um, and that's all I have for today. Freshman, I hope that you were listening to Dr. Hurst because her same sentiments applies to you as freshman. We will be testing the FAST PM1 next Wednesday, and some of you might be testing on Thursday. So more information to come where you will be testing. But the same thing applies. You need to take that test very serious um, because it can depict what type of classes that you take from this year into next year. So again, give us your best in your true performance so we know how to properly schedule you and offer classes that would best fit your needs. So I have. All right, guys, you know, I always have to end with one final announcement because I just can't ever remember all of them the first time, but that's okay. Um, a quick announcement that because of the pep rally schedule that we will have on Friday, so that means you are in your class periods for a shorter period of time, dual enrollment you will still follow your normal schedule. Same thing every year. So if you were in dual enrollment last year, you know this. You follow your normal schedule to catch those buses. Um, what, 9 to 10 and 11 to 12, 15. Um, dual enrollment classes also start today. So I know we've all been shuttling over to IRSC anyways, but make sure that you do not miss that shuttle because no one likes to miss their first day of college classes. It's real bad. So let's not do that. All right, guys, we are going to make it a great one as together we move forward. Be great. And be Brahmins. All, All right. day. Good morning, everyone. Hi, my name is Miss Albright. I teach English 2 here at the high school, and I wanted to say hello and uh, let you know that I am the sophomore class sponsor, and we have an opportunity this week for um, five students to become part of the governing board of the class of 2027. I want to encourage you, if you are a sophomore and you want to be part of an exciting and fun way to represent your class, come by my classroom, which is 1407, and grab an application and get that application turned in this Thursday and become a board member for your class. We're gonna be doing some exciting and fun things with t-shirts, our class t-shirt, and um, we're gonna uh, enter a float into the uh, homecoming parade. So, uh, woohoo, go class of 27. Come by, be part of a great thing this week. All right, thanks and have a great Brahmin day.